My Life in Europe, Stories from My Life. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. So I wanted to share with y'all, you know, more of my stories in my life that um, that I had shared in the past, and I'm kind of resharing them again because, well, um, they're good stories, and I have a lot of new people on my channel, and I thought, you know, a lot of them haven't heard my stories, and the old videos can get lost in the mix. So this one happens to be when my husband and I moved to Europe. Based on his career, we were transferred over to Europe. And it was so exciting. I really didn't want to go at first because I didn't want to leave my mom here. Although she had her own home and she lived in California and we didn't live in California, but I just, I knew that we couldn't talk every day on the phone like we did in the past. And because it was more expensive over there, although we managed to find a way to do it anyhow, you know, to talk to each other on a regular basis and we would fax letters back and forth once I got over there. So anyhow, my husband and I, we packed up all of our belongings. We were still newly married. The moving vans came, put it in storage, and some of it was sent over there, including our bicycles and our cars. Where well, our cars didn't get there for a few weeks, but our bicycles got there when we first arrived. And so we got on the plane, and I had caught a cold. I never caught colds before, but I caught a cold. And we'd been up uh, visiting relatives up in New England. And when I came back, I caught a cold and we got on the plane. I wasn't feeling well and, um, you know, it wasn't anything catchy. It was just kind of, I had, you know, just wasn't feeling my best. And so we got on the plane and we ended up going, um, you know, it was like a 14 hour trip. It was a long, long trip. And I remember I was kind of restless on it because, you know, you're stuck in the seat and, and, you know, all those hours. And finally we got there and it was morning, like 10 o'clock in the morning. And I remember getting off the plane and it was like, it was just like a whole different world. I had never been to Europe before and now we're suddenly living there. Well, some future friends picked us up at the airport and drove us to our guest house that we were staying in for a few weeks where we met up with all of our luggage and we met up with our bicycles. And so, uh, long story short, uh, we ended up moving to Heidelberg where the castle is. And oh my gosh, it was so beautiful and so historical. And so we had to go out and look for an apartment. It was rainy, it was drizzly. But the first night we got there, there was fireworks outside. And oh my gosh, I said, welcome to Europe. <laughs> And so we took our bicycles all around looking for an apartment. We didn't speak any of the languages and uh, other than English. And so we'd motion with our hands if we went to the bakery or we were talking to someone. Long story short, we ended up renting an apartment that was within like a three level house. And so we were on the middle level. The landlord and her husband was on the bottom level. Her son was on the top level and we were in between. And it was like a three bedroom apartment, a very nice apartment. And so began our life in Europe and began our travels all over Europe. We would take our little white BMW convertible and drive all around, you know, and on the Autobahn and to other countries. And, you know, we just drove everywhere. We went to Italy and we went to uh, Rome and, you know, we went to Paris and we went over to the former Eastern Bloc countries. And we also had a pickup truck, so we would take our big American pickup truck into these other countries and then people would kind of stare at us, you know, and there I was with my big blonde hair, you know, so they really did stare and, um, and it was just wonderful. I used to take my basket to the, um, to the, to the market, to the market, as it was called the market and I would buy my groceries and bring them home in a basket. And uh, my landlady became like a, um, a surrogate mother to me. And she didn't speak English, but we motioned with our hands. And so we would cook together, we would cook together. And it was just so much fun. And she would teach me how to cook and we would, I would bake pies and I'd put the pies on the windowsill to cool down. And eventually we moved another time and that was a wonderful house, but we weren't there very long. And then we ended up in Bavaria, um, Heidi territory with all the cows and the chickens and all that. And that was wonderful. My husband had his career. I also had my career there too. So I was working 
and um, we did a lot of traveling, uh, ate out at a lot of wonderful restaurants, had a wonderful, wonderful time, and we were there in Europe for around five years. And I learned to speak the other languages, or at least one language very solidly, I made wonderful friends, had wonderful times, wonderful experiences. Family came over to visit us. We flew back over time and we did travel quite extensively. And so I feel very, very blessed for those years. That was before we had children. And uh, so it was a perfect time for us to travel and she lived in Europe and have so much fun. So that's another story from my life. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.